you, what's up guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to show you how to do a really cool scope effect that's sort of... Yeah. The best place scenario for this effect is to sort of put it in a montage. Don't spam it on every single clip so it doesn't make it look like the montage is on a linear fucking path start to finish. You switch it up part way through so it looks cool as shit. With that said, I'll just show you the effect. So basically you want to grab it in your clip, make sure you do go to properties and disable resample or your clip will look like shit. And you want to find the first frame of where the scope shows up. Not this frame, this one here. And you want to split it, and then you want to find where the hit marker first comes in. And you want to split it there, and then you want to go where... And then you want to split it again where you see the scope first come out. And split it there. You delete that one, and drag that up so your clip will sort of look like that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can here. And we want to sort of drag this up a bit and extend the time the scope is on view. And then you want to go to insert velocity, and you want to come about here and here. And then I'm going to set these to 20 if you're working with 60 frames a second clips to set it to 40 or something because these are around 600 frames a second and I, well, most of you aren't going to be using clips like that. And then make sure you drag those up and set that to fast and then set that to a slow fade. Now this scope is now going to come in slow and go up fast. If we now go into your pan and crop, click on mask and then just drag this one out, the circle tool here, just this one here. And then you want to line these little dots up with the, um, the crosshairs on the scope. So it matches up, so it matches up perfect really. So you want it to look like that, now that's not quite perfect. But it will do. And then click on to feather. Um, Set it to your feather type to in, and then click on here, and just turn up the feather a little bit. Let me just turn up to full so you guys can, can see it. Now, I like to go for a two feather, you can go for a four. Um, we'll go for a four this time, and it, so it makes it faded around the edge, so it looks uh, pretty fucking cool. Now, that has... well you want to go to where you put your first marker on velocity go back in and you want to make a mark here and you want to zoom out as much as you can and then sort of you don't want to bring it out too far but you don't want to bring it out too little so let me just make sure I've got these ones locked so it's the same aspect ratio to the entire thing So what we're going to do, we're going to do it around about here, and then we're going to put a little tilt on it. So it's not just zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, tilt, zoom out. And then you want to go to your second point of velocity, and just double click there so you have the same point there. And then click to the end and hit restore. So basically this is going to go from a still to zoomed in and tilt to still and then zoom out into this. So I'll just play it out to show you what it looks like. So it looks pretty cool already. Um, what we're going to do actually is insert a video track here and just drag that one underneath and just just for the sake of the video keeping it neat we're just going to make it the same length as the one at the beginning. Now what you can do is you can drag another clip underneath of this one. So like for example, I have this death scene here, this um, cinematic of a death scene. So if we come over here and we find where the bullet first hits him, so it'd be when he first drops his gun. So see, we could start it here, but then it's gonna be really choppy when he drops his gun, and I forgot to disable resample, so I just do that. And we will cut it there, and we'll bring that clip right to the start of the scope effect. We'll cut that, delete that, and now we've got this death scene underneath the thing, underneath the scope effect. Um, just hit velocity, you want to find the center, 
and then set that to 20. Um, if you're on 60, just set it to um, 50 or 40 or something like that. And then make sure I swap these around. Uh, I did the first one wrong. Make sure the first one is on fast and the last one is on uh, to just fade out. Uh, slow. So it looks pretty cool. Now, if you sort of chuck all this stuff together, um, let me just delete this here, delete this here, because we don't really need, well, you don't, I don't need it, you guys still need it, um, if you're do, doing the effect. Uh, you can put all this together, and if I just move this up a bit here, I've got some um, black bars here, I've got the uh, my clip, uh, I've put some colour correction on it, I've put the other clip underneath for the scope effect, I've put some sound effects in, some gunshots, and I've sort of walked the music a bit. So I'll just quickly show you what that sounds like. You probably saw it in the intro, but uh, I'll just show you now. And it's pretty fucking sick. Most of the effects in this one I've shown you how to do already. So just go back in my um, playlist on Sony Vegas and you can learn how to do all the rest of the effects in this video. The only one I haven't done is the color changing that I had on the scope. And I will probably do the, uh, a tutorial on that in the future. Um, but yeah, you can do some pretty cool shit with this effect, and that's pretty much it for the video guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!